last day here in Cairns. It's the last day. It's so sad. And I uh, had a good night. Had a little bit of a get together with some of the uh, the fruity vegans here in Cairns. We had that last night, and uh, didn't get to bed till about one o'clock. So a bit of a late night. Um, but I don't fly out till about five o'clock. Uh, till five o'clock this evening. So uh, have a little bit of time for a nap. But we're just gonna go over my gear that I'm gonna be bringing. So all my electronics and my clothing all the cool little stuff that I'm going to be bringing with me. So I've really tried to kind of knock this down and try to carry as little uh, with me as possible because the less weight that, I ha that you have on the bike, the easier it is, easier it is to travel. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so something that's always nice to bring while you're touring is an extra tire. Um, obviously extra tubes are nice as well for the bicycle. Uh, I got a pair of sandals or sorry, flip flops or uh, they call them thongs here in Australia. Um, just a set of, uh, these are like gardening gloves. So when I'm cleaning my bike and maintaining my bike, I'll wear these just so I don't get shit all over my hands. Uh, so this is my my cell phone. I won't probably buy a SIM card while I'm there, so I'll use it as uh, basically as a watch. Um, got my wallet, got headphones. I'm gonna be buying a new set of headphones because I kinda destroyed these ones. Sleep mask cycle gloves, um, charger for the laptop, and obviously helmet is always a good option. Uh, just a few uh, zip ties, backpack, so backpack is good just for uh, when you're traveling within the cities, uh, especially when you're going to buy fruit and stuff like that. It's good to have a backpack to bring it all back, because um, they, they always want to give you a plastic bag, so this is obviously reusable. And so then we got cell phone charger, iPod, uh, got my little uh, mini tripod stand, and then this is so, so uh, I guess more of my hygienic stuff. Um, so obviously got a few uh, got a few condoms, um, got my EpiPen as well. If you didn't know, I'm like deathly allergic to uh, to Brazil nuts, um, so I carry an EpiPen with me now because um, I do go into anaphylactic shock. Uh, toothbrush, a couple extra toothbrushes, uh, facial cleanser. This is probably the only product that I actually really use on my body, so it's just a nice little cleanser. Um, so this trimmer here, I used to trim uh, pretty well most of the hair on my body, um, including like on my face. I don't like to use a razor on my face, but I do shave my legs with a razor. Um, something else, we just have some, uh, some bamboo utensils. Um, nail buffer, uh, my nail clippers will be in there somewhere. It's mainly just more condoms in there. <laughs> and also having like a, a little thing of floss as well is nice just in case you get something stuck in your teeth. So I guess in my wallet it's just, just some bank cards and shit like that. Nothing, nothing too crazy in there. I finally, I got my map in. I just got that in yesterday which is kind of nice. And then also in here is I have all the translations. So this came from the vegan passport book. Um, so all the translations in the four different languages that I'm going to be in, or sorry, five different languages. So this is in Malaysian. So it basically just says exactly how I eat as a as a vegan vegetarian. And um, so I found there's a PDF version of uh, the vegan passport online. If you just type in vegan passport PDF. And so what I did was I just took a screenshot of the pages and just printed them off because I only needed five and I didn't want, I didn't have time to buy the book um, or else I would have. Uh, so let's see, camera stuff. So we just got some extra camera stuff in there, liquid paper pen, which is always good to mark your bike. Um, I'll have my, uh, my battery charger for my, the camera that I'm using right now. Um, and then this is all my GoPro stuff. So we got the waterproof casing, battery charger. Uh, extra batteries and the microphone that I usually use for it and then for the GoPro more GoPro stuff so GoPro mounts uh, right there and obviously got the GoPro and this is so just a USB charger um, just for you know charging whatever um, just so I can stick it in the wall uh, and then just uh, so this uh, so this memory disk I'll be using um, probably in my main camera um, but I originally bought it for the for the GoPro, and then having a good USB stick like this is uh, is good as well. Something else that I really recommend getting if you're traveling with your laptop is to get an external hard drive. Um, so this is just a, a small passport size um, uh, external hard drive. I think it's 750 gigabytes, so a lot a lot of space on there. 
And then this is my, uh, just my kind of little travel kind of companion with me. So I got a little, little things in there, like my passport, I got a lot of my identity in here, um, including even my birth certificate from Canada, and uh, just a lot of stuff. If I lost this, I'd kind of be, I'd kind of be pretty fucked, so it'll stay, it'll stay with me at all times pretty well. And then this is just going to be my little kind of diary. Um, so what I'll probably do in here is just keep track of uh, daily expenditures, uh, to-do to -do lists, and all that kind of stuff. And then my book of positive aspects, so I just kind of write um, positive aspects of certain subjects that I just want to think about and feel good about. A uh, pair of sunnies, one pair of sunnies, two pair of sunnies, so see, these are my riding sunnies. And then the ones in here will just kind of be uh, just kind of more casual stuff. I'm actually surprised that I'm bringing two pairs because you really only need one. But I found these on the side of the road, so and they they look pretty decent. So Garmin Edge 510, so we'll be rocking that baby. Um, uploading uploading the Strava, uploading the Strava. Heart rate monitor. Um, won't be using that too much while I'm touring. Won't really need it while I'm touring per se. But if I go for a big ride um, in some mountains or whatever, it'll be good to know what I'm doing on the heart rate. Team Green, uh, Team Green, uh, official Team Green shirt here, and uh, so they are uh, one of my sponsors for the tour, and uh, they sponsored me also with uh, an awesome, awesome cycling kit here, so I'll have to do a video just on the cycling kit. Um, really, really nice kit, and then we got my Organic Athlete Go Vegan hat, which I just bought off my buddy here, and then we have my second cycling kit. Um, so we'll just kind of be going back between the two. Uh, big thing when you're touring, uh, especially in Asia, and you're going to be wearing cycling kits, is that the uh, the chamois, um, if they if they get wet, like they'll get wet because you're sweating in them, and it's hard for things to dry in Asia uh, just with the humidity. So it's good to have a second set so that you can swap um, each each day. So you can wear one set one day and let that set dry, and then wear the next one the next day and then that'll cut down on getting uh, saddle sores. Two pairs of Njinji socks, so these are just little toe socks that I'm going to be wearing. Just two pairs. Um, one pair of underwear that I'm not really going to be wearing. I'm not really sure why I'm bringing them with me, but it's a, I, I really like them, so I'll bring them with me. Um, this is going to be my helmet cover, so it'll actually go back behind uh, my helmet to basically cover my neck and my ears. Um, so if you saw my bike tour here in Australia, you would have noticed uh, something very similar that I made out of an old t-shirt. Um, so I've actually gone ahead and made a nicer one now. And then a rain poncho, so I actually bought this when I was in Asia last time. Um, I never actually used it, um, but when you're just kind of like, kind of uh, walking around in the city sometimes, I am going there in the rainy season, so it'll be nice to have a little rain jacket. These are only usually a few bucks over there. And then we got the, got the mastermind here, we got the, got the MacBook. So hopefully this will not get stolen at all, because um, if it does, I might cry. And then just uh, two panniers right there, and that's it. This is it. So there's not a whole lot here. Um, it kind of looks like a lot when it's all laid out, but when it's, when it's packed up, it won't actually end up being uh, that much. Um, so probably the only thing here that um, I am bringing with me that you can't see are the shorts that I'm wearing. So I'm wearing these shorts. Uh, so these are just bathing shorts, and then the camera that I'm carrying as well right now, and then just my battery charger as well for this camera here. Um, that's that's pretty much it. So if you want to see um, if you want to see exactly how my bike is set up, I'll put a link to that video. Um, basically, I'll put it like some I'll put it somewhere on the screen here, <laughs> so you can just click on that, check out my bike setup as well, so you can just kind of get the details of exactly what I'm bringing. So I hope that's minimal enough for you. It's I think I'm comfortable with what I'm bringing. Um, I don't feel like I need any more or I don't really want any more. And I don't feel like I'm bringing any unnecessary stuff with me. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Peace out.